What I'm simply looking into doing is saying, what is the rule for a sub n? And why is this important? Well, because a function, ladies and gentlemen, we had a function and we plugged in values for a function. But it didn't really go in an order. Now we have a sequence that goes in order where we say, all right, the first value in my sequence is equal to negative 2. The second value in my sequence is equal to negative 5. The third, negative 8. Four, negative 11. Fifth, negative 14. And why that's important is because what if I wanted to say, what is the 99th? What is the 2,000th? How am I going to be able to figure out those forms? So to do that, we have to be able to create our rule for any value. All right. So there isn't, no, there isn't any, hey, this is just what you do and do it. We have to look at the relationships between our number of term and then the value of the term. So what we want to do is let's look at the relationship between the first term and its value. So if I say a sub 1, and we're going to look at what is the value of a sub 1, which is negative 2. The first thing I always like to do, ladies and gentlemen, is always look at addition and subtraction. So to go to 1 to negative 2, I have to subtract 2, right? or subtract 3, right? But to go from 2 to negative 5, if I subtract 3 again, does that work? No, right? So um, subtraction and addition and subtraction are not going to work. The next thing I like to do is look at addition and, I'm sorry, multiplication and division. So to go from 1 to negative 2, I need to multiply by negative 2, correct? Well, if I multiply 2 times negative 2, does that give me negative? No, that doesn't work either, Olivia. So I'm getting into some problems. Um, so now, once I've started working on those two, now what I need to do is see what kind of combination can I create? Can I add and subtract and multiply, divide? to be able to get to my next term. And if that doesn't work, we'll go through a problem where it doesn't work and we'll have some other options. But is there something I can multiply and that multiply, divide, and add or subtract to go from 1 to negative 2 to 2 to negative 5? Marco, you thought you had it? Uh, OK, Zach? Negative 3 plus 1. Yeah, very good. What about if I multiply by negative 3 and then I add 1? So let's take a look at it. Let's see if that works, right? 1 times negative 3 is negative 3, plus 1 is negative 2. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, plus 1 is negative 5. 3 times negative 3 is negative 12, plus, or I'm sorry, is negative 9, plus 1 is negative 8. And negative 3 times 4 is negative 12, plus 1 is negative 11. Um, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15, plus 1 is negative 14. So just by using you know, some mathematical reasoning, Yes, you're able to figure out the rule. It's going to be negative 3n plus 1. Very good. So that's the easy one.